But, you know, our thoughts go out to the folks in East Palestine. We're seeing what it looks like a very scary situation. Right. Dark skies suddenly like that. Nothing's really moving. There is an atmospheric explanation for that. Mm -hmm. And so we thought we'd bring Matt in to, to give us the latest on that. Yeah, I mean, normally when you see smoke go up, you'd expect sure. it to continue to go up. The winds would carry it the away. The winds would carry it away, especially in the upper atmosphere. That's mm -hmm. not the case there. It's got that heavy, dark feeling over it because there's something called an aversion. Betsy and I were talking about this. Peyton, too, we're all kind of tracking this where everything kind of goes up and it stops. It loses its ability to rise anymore. Mm -hmm. That's oftentimes what brings us our low clouds. It just gets stuck in the haze sitting. and the smog. Yeah. Same thing's happening right there right now. So uh, let's show up the maps here. We'll show you exactly what we're talking about. Uh, but big problem for them is that that atmospheric, all the particulate matter that's up there is not moving anywhere. And it's actually starting to show up on radar because remember that radar beam goes out and it's looking for anything to bounce back at it. That's why we often see birds or bats, the roosting going on in the morning. Anything that is in, you know, a large uh, quantity is, is coming back to the radar site. So we pulled up the Pittsburgh radar here and you can see that little dot right there. That's that smoke from that controlled release that Neil's been covering. Here's East Palestine or Palestine right here. You can see out towards the east. Everything just kind of floating there, at least on radar. It's being detected as snow. We know that's not the case, but all those little particulate matter that's heading up into the atmosphere right now is being detected. So this is a radar sounding. Meteorologists cringe when they see this, but this gives us so much information. This is from the balloon that they launch in Pittsburgh. That's the closest balloon launch that they get to get atmospheric data from here all the way up uh, into the sky. And what we're looking at here, the red is your temperature. The uh, green color there is the dew point, all right? When they're really close together, here's the surface where we are. When they're close together, that air is saturated, right? There's so much moisture. That's why we had kind of that hazy, foggy look to the atmosphere today. The other thing we note, when you send something up into the sky, like a cloud, it typically gets colder the higher you get up. And what's happening here is it's actually getting warmer right here. So it's getting colder, 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 and then it gets warmer at about 850 millibars, which is about 5,000 feet up in the sky. And because of that warming of the atmosphere, everything goes up as it normally would. It gets warmer and it can't go any further. So that's what we're seeing over Neil right now. And over that uh, area is a big dark cloud, everything kind of lofted there and trapped. And the fact that the atmosphere is so saturated there right now is that some of that particular matter is just going to hold. It's just very heavy there. So a little bit of a concern for that. We'll continue to track that here. Wind would help. That would push it out. That is not the case. We've got big old high pressure over eastern Ohio, western PA right now. You notice some of the wind back towards the west, but that doesn't get into that area. And East Palestine here over the next couple hours, calm wind through seven. We'll start to get just some light wind throughout the overnight. I don't think that's going to do it. So uh, we'll obviously need to be tracking that closely as we go through overnight. Not much help from Mother Nature to get that out of there. In terms of our local forecast here, it's near freezing, just above freezing today. We don't have any ice problems. There's that. This is what I like to see. The temperature map this time of year, especially as we go throughout the month of February, you'll start to see warmer numbers down to the south. That's where people spring break this time of year, right? We get that sun's warming. We've got 70s widespread, and we start to tap into this air mass more and more frequently as we go through February and March, and we're going to do that this week. There's a cold front out towards the west. This mild air, though, is going to sneak in here tomorrow. I think we've got a day up near 50 degrees. There's a system gathering in the Plain States. This will fill in with some rain and snow as we go throughout the overnight. For us, we're stuck with the low clouds because nothing's moving. Remember, we've got that inversion, not just over towards Pennsylvania, but here in northeast Ohio as well. That's why we have the clouds. National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. Kind of ho-hum tonight. Temperatures stay steady. First chance of rain is tomorrow. We'll get some showers in here early morning through the latter half of the morning, and then maybe some scattered showers after that. Not a big rain event tomorrow, but look at temperatures up near 50 degrees tomorrow. Rain should eventually fade, and we're dealing with quieter weather on Wednesday. But then we have this, more rain coming in here Thursday, some rain to rain snow this weekend. Pretty good precip chances, and that comes with our next wave of low pressure. This one has a slug of moisture coming out of the Gulf. It arrives Wednesday night into Thursday with some wind and rain. Behind that, we have a little changeover and an interesting system to watch this weekend. Could bring us some accumulating snowfall. We'll talk more about that in the next half hour. Union Hill Mortgage, seven day forecast. Look at the bump in temps with that system Thursday up near 60 degrees. Cooler for the weekend. We'll talk again about that Friday, Saturday time frame. It gets kind of tricky on the modeling, but certainly could be a little bit cooler and snowier around here as you'd expect in February, guys.